Good day everybody and welcome to our basic science class where we'll be talking on the topic friction and this is presented to you by Adenera Umar Allah In today's class our topic outline will be based on four main things which are the meaning of friction, advantages of friction, disadvantages of friction and lastly how we can reduce friction with this said the next thing we'll be looking at is the objective of this class what do we aim to achieve at the end of this class at the end of this class you should be able to attempt the following define friction as a term mention the advantages of friction state the disadvantages of friction and lastly explain how friction can be reduced now this will bring us to the question what is friction friction should be known as a daily phenomenon whereby we have been familiar with it but scientifically friction is defined as a force which opposes motion or movement it is otherwise known as frictional force. Friction is also said to be a force that tries to stop a body from moving. With all this said, earlier I said friction is a daily phenomenon. I believe you've rubbed your palms together. By rubbing these palms together, you apply a force to the palms. This force is called friction. As you rub this palm together, one of the palms slide up while the other slides downward. And as you keep on rubbing, you realize that the dry surfaces of your palm generate heat. With this said, friction as a force is less experienced on wet and oily surfaces, but experienced more on dry surfaces. What do I mean by this is, when your palms are dry, friction is experienced more, rather than it being wet or oily. Next in our objective is to look at the advantages of friction. What does this force really serve us in terms of advantages? The first thing is it aids movement free movement in d in this it means that friction allows us to move without falling slippy or sliding down wet surfaces this is as a result of we walking freely when our sleepers still have enough grip if the grip wears off, what happens is that what we slide on wet surfaces. Also, friction allows smooth and easy movement of cars without skidding. Skidding means the car, it means a situation whereby cars run off the driveway into a ditch. So, in other words, the, you can realize or you can see that the grip of your tire, the tire has rough edges which we call grip but as it goes on and on we can surely see that this grip wears off with time with this said we should know that there is nothing that has advantages ad and advantages that doesn't have disadvantages now we'll be looking at the disadvantages of friction one of the disadvantages is it causes it just like the phenomenon or the ex example that I've given earlier, that when you rub your dry palms together, you realize that it causes heat. Next is it causes wear and tear of moving parts of machine. Example is just like your car tire, where you realize that as time goes by, it wears off and it gets damaged also in terms of the belt of our machines. 
The top disadvantage is a lot of money and resources are wasted in reducing and correcting its effect. When you want to correct the wearing and tearing of moving parts of machine, you spend a lot of money in correcting this. And lastly, it wastes useful energy. We should know that machines are supposed to run on 100% efficiency, but as a result of friction, the efficiency of this machine are reduced and instead of machine to create 100% efficiency, the efficiency is reduced and this leads to waste of useful energy. Last in our objective is to look at ways by which we can reduce friction. There are so many ways we can reduce friction, but out of these so many ways are four major ways one of which is the application of lubricants as you can see some of us we have machines we have bicycles we have grinding machine and the likes whenever we use them we oil them by applying our grease or engine oil to parts in our, these various machines this helps to reduce friction also we can reduce friction by using ball bearings Ball bearings are present in our bicycles, in our grinding machine to reduce friction. Another way of reducing friction is the use of rollers. As you can see, your chairs, tables, some come with rollers. It looks like a ball whereby it aids in moving of these items from one place to the other. Without this, the bottom surface of all these chairs and tables we wear off and lastly smoothing and polishing of surfaces concerned when you smoothen the surface and polish them it helps to reduce friction with all this said we have come to the end of today's class but we need to still take the summary of what we've treated for better understanding in today's class, we looked at four major things, first of which is meaning of friction. And I believe you can still recollect the definition of friction as a force which opposes motion or movement. Next in line, we looked at the advantages of friction. We said that friction is movement and also it allows smooth and easy movement of cars without skidding. Next in line, we talked about the disadvantages of friction. We said it causes heat, it causes wear and tear of moving parts of machine, it wastes useful energy, and lastly, it prevent, its prevention is costly. And the fourth thing we look at in this topic of ours is how we can reduce friction. We said we can reduce friction by applying lubricants, by using ball bearings, by using rollers, and lastly, smoothing and polishing of surfaces. With all this said, we need to test our ability on the topic treated. With this, I will give you some assignments that you need to do on your own. And these are define the term friction, state two advantages of friction. Mention three disadvantages of friction. And the fourth and the last question is for you to list two ways of reducing friction. Thank you for being there for today's class. Hope to see you some other time.